What if I told you that scientists have uncovered genetic secrets in Scottish DNA that completely overturn everything we thought we knew about Celtic origins? In recent years, British and international researchers have made a discovery in the genetic code of Scottish Highlanders that has shaken the scientific world. Scottish bloodlines aren't just unique. They carry ancient DNA that can't be found anywhere else in Europe. But here's the question that changes everything. If the Scots carry such special genetic heritage, where did they actually come from? And why were they the ones to preserve what other European peoples lost? Stay with me, because this genetic mystery will transform how you see Celtic history. Picture this. 500 AD, the harsh mountains of the Scottish Highlands echo with the sound of bagpipes. Cold winds sweep across the locks while clan warriors prepare for another battle. Through the rolling mist, an ancient fortress emerges. Within those stone walls live people who have no idea that their DNA holds millennia of genetic history. Their bloodlines carry secrets that survived Roman conquest, Viking raids, and English occupation. These clans, the MacLeods, the Campbells, the McDonalds, didn't just pass down names and traditions. Hidden in their genetic code was a missing piece of the puzzle that had been lost from Europe's population history. Recent research from the University of Edinburgh and other leading institutions published in prestigious journals like Nature has reached revolutionary conclusions. By analyzing thousands of ancient and modern DNA samples, researchers have proven that Scottish genetic composition has acted as a unique time capsule, preserving multiple layers of Europe's prehistoric past. The analyses revealed that among Scottish Y-chromosome haplogroups, the R1BL21, also known as R1BS530, lineage dominates, a line that arrived in the British Isles approximately 4,500 years ago and has remained defining ever since. How is it possible that one European people preserved ancient genetic traits in their DNA to such an extent? The story begins 12,000 years ago when the first hunter-gatherers arrived in the British Isles after the Ice Age. Research from the Max Planck Institute shows these peoples already carried genetic markers that are still recognizable in Scottish DNA today. Then came the great change. Around 4,500 years ago, the Bell Beaker, peoples arrived from continental Europe. Landmark research published in Nature shows this migration had dramatic impact. It replaced roughly 90% of the earlier Neolithic population's genetic stock. But the Scottish Highlands were different. Those forbidding mountains and lochs provided natural protection. Here, old and new genetic lines mixed in a unique way, creating the DNA profile we call Scottish today. Why did the Scottish Highlands become Europe's genetic time capsule when these lineages disappeared elsewhere? And here comes the most stunning twist in the story. The latest genetic studies show that Scottish DNA isn't the result of one, but several dramatic encounters between ancient peoples. The pre-Roman inhabitants, known as Picts, had a unique genetic profile that evolved from Bronze Age populations. But they didn't remain alone for long. In the early medieval period, Gaels arriving from Ireland brought their language and DNA, founding the Kingdom of Dalriada and gradually becoming dominant. Simultaneously, Anglo-Saxons inhabited the eastern coasts while Britons occupied the southern territories. The biggest surprise, however, comes from the Viking era. Ancient DNA studies have shown at on the Scottish islands, 
Orkney, Shetland, and the Hebrides. Norwegian Vikings didn't just raid, they settled and left a significant genetic footprint. Many Scottish clans that previously considered themselves Celtic in origin can actually trace their ancestry back to Norwegian Vikings. How is it possible that a single nation carries the genetic heritage of so many different, often warring peoples? Scotland wasn't a distant people's colony, but a true European melting pot where local Pictish, Irish Gaelic, British, Anglo-Saxon, and Norwegian Viking bloodlines mixed in a unique way. Take the famous Clan MacLeod as an example. Legend speaks of an overseas founder, but genetic studies now clarify this. The clan's male line is clearly of Norwegian Viking origin, not Iberian. Or consider a 10th century Viking grave on Orkney. A woman buried there had local Pictish DNA, while the men found in the grave were Norwegian. This genetic bridge didn't connect Southern Europe, but linked Scandinavia to Scotland. These micro-histories show us that Scottish DNA isn't an ancient distant connection, but the living imprint of the turbulent history of the Iron Age and Viking era. But genetic discoveries don't stop at ancient bones. Even the DNA of the most famous Scots tells surprising stories. Take Scotland's most famous royal house, the Stuarts. The dynasty's male line Y chromosome has been traced, and the result is astounding. The royal bloodline belongs to the R1B L21 haplogroup. This is exactly the same Bell Beaker genetic line that arrived 4,500 years ago and became dominant on the islands. The Scottish royal house itself is a direct descendant of that massive Bronze Age migration. Or think of the legendary Sean Connery. Genetic genealogical research suggests his paternal line can be traced all the way back to Ireland, to County Wexford. This genetic trail reflects the Gaelic migration, those Irish settlers who founded the Scottish nation in the kingdom of Dalriada during the early medieval period. The most famous Scottish actor's DNA therefore carries the story of the Scottish nation's birth. For decades, there was debate about Scottish origins. Earlier theories, popularized by scholars like Dr. Brian Sykes, pointed to significant prehistoric Iberian migration based on genetic similarities. Other historians, like Dr. Alastair Moffat, emphasize local Celtic development. However, the latest ancient DNA research, conducted by teams led by Patterson and Olalde, has shed new light on the question. We now know that genetic stratification is far more complex, and the debate now centers on exactly what proportion of Pictish, Gaelic, Britain, and Norwegian genetic contribution existed in different Scottish regions. We must honestly admit here, ancient DNA only gives us a fragmentary picture entire peoples could have migrated without leaving genetic traces in the preserved bones. Today, when people of Scottish descent take DNA tests worldwide, they often get surprising results. Many discover genetic links to continental Europe, sometimes labeled as Iberian. This label often represents a deep, shared ancestry with the first Neolithic farmers who spread across all of Western Europe thousands of years ago, not a direct migration from Spain to Scotland. This isn't an error in the test. This is your ancient Scottish heritage. These are genetic traits that your Bronze Age ancestors brought with them across the sea and which remain recognizable in your DNA after millennia. According to the latest research, rich genetic diversity played a key role in resistance to certain diseases. The unique mix of ancient European gene variants in the Scottish population, for instance, may offer protection against certain modern illnesses. And here's the most exciting part. Scottish genetic heritage 
helps scientists understand the history of ancient maritime migrations. Scottish DNA is a living map showing how distant parts of Europe were connected even in prehistoric times. So what does Scottish DNA reveal? A genetic story that's unique in Europe, a complex tapestry woven from ancient hunter-gatherers, Bronze Age bell beaker migrants, native Picts, Irish Gaels, and Norse Vikings, all preserved by a degree of island isolation. Scottish bloodlines don't just tell us about the past, they also reveal how ancient sea voyages shaped Europe's genetic map. Every Scottish person carries this genetic time capsule within them. This raises the question, what does your own family's genetic code still hide? What traces of ancient sea voyages lie hidden in your DNA that you don't yet know about? Do you think you might carry ancient Scottish or Iberian genetic traits? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if this genetic mystery has captivated you, subscribe to the channel so you don't miss more secrets from Celtic history revealed by science.